Hello all, and welcome to Music Minute, the hot theory guide to learn those extra concepts the right way, brought to you by stevenjacks.com. My name is Steve, and today we're going to go over what it takes to make a piece sound like it's Irish. Why? Because it's St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day to you all, and forgive my terrible Irish accent, I'll never do it again. This week on Music Minute, we're going to talk about the different characteristics found in traditional Irish music. It really comes down to three different characteristics. Number one is the instrumentation, number two is the scale that's used, and number three is the rhythm. So let's talk about all three. Now, for number one, instrumentation simply means the instruments that are used. Common instruments in Irish music include the harp, the violin or fiddle, the fife or Irish tin whistle, pipes, and percussion. The percussion usually consisted of various types of drums, but they also included castanets. For those of you that don't know what castanets are, I made my own out of duct tape and plastic bottle caps. Here's what they look like. The second characteristic of Irish music is the scale that's used. Irish music is all about D major. This week, we don't like C major, and we only like D major. Now, technically, you can go to G major, which is one sharp less, or A major, which is one sharp more, or all the modes associated with these three keys, including the minor keys, which is B minor, E minor, and F sharp minor. But generally, D major is the focal point. If you do use a mode, it's usually in Dorian or Aeolian, because that's the relative minor. And finally, the third part is the rhythm. Irish music is all about 3-4, or that triplet feel. Out of that 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 triplet pattern, you can get a lilt if you skip the 2. If you skip that 2, you get that long, short, long, short, long, short, long feel, and it sounds a little bit cooler. Now, of course, there are traditional Irish songs in 4-4 four, four, or 2-4, giving a duple feel. But even in the duple pieces, you get interjections of extra notes. For example, here's a basic rhythm pattern with some chords in 4-4. Four, four. And here's a melody line that I'm going to throw on top of it. Do you see all the little interjections of notes that are scrambled together? Listen for that. Cool, right? Of course, all three of these characteristics are general blanket statements. Not all Irish music conforms to this without exception. But next time you make a piece, you might want to throw some of these in. Because after all, it is St. Patrick's Day. Here's a piece to show off all three characteristics. Be sure to listen for them and enjoy. Before we end this week, I want to share an app that I've developed for the betterment of musicianship the world over. It is a pitch training app. The app is called Perfect Pitch Trainer, and it can help you learn perfect pitch. The way it works is that it plays a note at random, and you get to say what note it is. You can set the difficulty from just two notes to all the notes in a three octave range. With constant practice, you'll be able to tell any note anywhere at any time. There's a link for the app down in the description, so be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Music Minute. If you have any comments or questions, or you have an idea for a future episode, or if you like my shirt, you can let me know on Facebook, the comments below, or directly email me at my website, stephenjacks.com. And don't forget to subscribe for more Music Minutes. Oh yeah, and I'm wearing green.